Team, keep it clean. We got some really important updates when it comes to our Baltimore Ravens. First and foremost, the Steelers game is not this Sunday. It is this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. So, y'all, don't forget... Set your alarm, set your timer, set your reminders, set your calendars, all of that, because the game is this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, I do not know if we'll be live streaming or not because we do have some prior obligations on Saturday, but I will let y'all know as soon as everything is officially official. Now, um, with this game, y'all remember the, the, the ref crew that refereed the, the Lions and Cowboys game and how that got real messy at the end of it? Well, that same crew will be the refs for this game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness the number one seed is locked up. Thank goodness, like, this game, it really don't mean much for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they could knock the Steelers out of the playoffs, so that'd be great. Uh, but that is going to be the, the crew that's reffing this game. Now we got some more stuff to talk about. Before we get into it, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you, because y'all been rocking like the rocking the channel like crazy, so I appreciate it, man. I really, 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 really do. Uh, make sure you continue to subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Y'all have been doing that like crazy. Uh, we're growing. Let's get to 72,000 subscribers. Let's do it. Let's, let's make it happen, y'all. And leave a like on the video, because that goes a long way. It does. So thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for helping out the channel a lot. Y'all are really making... A really, really big difference. Now, um, in some more news, which was kind of funny, but it's like, really? Like, NFL, chill out, like, a little bit, man. Tyler Huntley, backup quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, who I expect to see a lot of this Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday. Um, he came in the game, did a couple handoffs, and then he went and, and threw a touchdown. Threw a touchdown. Was one for one with a touchdown. Now, a lot of people were saying that touchdown was intended for Isaiah Likely, but Charlie Kohler said, hey! I want some too. Everybody else is scoring but me. So he jumped in front of it and took it. But either way, it is what it is. And the touchdown was scored. So that's all that matters at the beginning and the end. But the NFL, they had a little gift for Tyler Huntley waiting at his locker room. Just sitting there chilling. Because after the game, not Lamar Jackson. NFL was like, look, Lamar Jackson, we know that you you be doing your thing out there on the field. You getting ready to be the MVP for the second time in your young career. We know you good. But Tyler Huntley. You need to be drug tested, my friend. So they, they had a, a drug test waiting for Tyler Huntley right after the game. I'm like, man, really? Like, y'all chill out, man. But anyway, shout out to Tyler Huntley, man. Um, now, speaking of Tyler Huntley, like I did say, I, I do expect to see him a lot in uh, this game uh, against the Steelers. And that is a big question. That, that's a really big question that a lot of people have been having the conversation about to play or not to play the starters. In fact, we got a question from my guy, Trevor J. Uh, he said, week 18 scenario. What's up, Engraven? Hope you and the fam are doing well. With the number one seed locked up, do you think we will rest our starters? I know this isn't like 2019, but I feel like the starters should at least play a half of the game against the Steelers to stay sharp. Of course, some starters battling injuries should stay out to give them an opportunity to rest. What's your take on this? And I have been so back and forth with this um before i'm like all right rest the starters 2019 ain't got nothing to do with nothing and i still feel like 2019 ain't got nothing to do with nothing let let it go 2019 was 2019 this team is a much different team than they were back then and they are much more mature uh, they have a lot more experience and they dealt with 2019 it happened so it's like all right they know what not to do in certain situations and they got some players that can show up they got more people that they can rely on in clutch situations but anyway um, as far as the starters playing, whether they play a quarter, whether they play a half, I've seen some people say, treat it like a, a preseason game. Um, mm, it, it's really tricky, but I would, I probably wouldn't play Lamar. Uh, I would love for the Baltimore Ravens to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know you don't want to get swept by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, Tyler Huntley, Tyler Huntley can go out there and do his thing and take care of business against the Pittsburgh Steelers for us, but... I would probably sit Lamar. Like, again, this is a much different team than they were uh, back in 2019. They have a lot more experience. And guys that know what it takes to win a Super Bowl, guys that have won a Super Bowl. Super, you got multiple. Super, again, Odell Beckham Jr. Well, first, John Harbaugh, J uh, Justin Tucker. But guys that came from the outside in, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., Kyle Vinoy, Jake Funk, Nelson Aguilar. Like, you got guys that have won 
the Super Bowl and been part of those teams. So you, you have a lot more experience and knowledge uh, on, on what it takes to get the job done and, and finish. And you got guys like Lamar Jackson, just his mindset. Like his mindset alone has been locked on, laser focused, super sharp. Let, let, as a matter of fact, let's listen to what um, Arthur Millette, what he had to say about uh, Lamar Jackson after the game. He said Lamar was talking yesterday uh, and the, talking the day before leading up to the Dolphins game. And Arthur Millette said that he kept saying, make it to February. That's our goal. Uh, we're not saying nothing less and nothing more. Make it to February. We need to be playing in February. We have to hold ourselves accountable to that. And that's exactly probably the biggest thing that the Baltimore Ravens have this year more than ever. They have players that are holding each other accountable big time. So with them holding each other accountable, they're not, again, 2019 was 2019. Let that be back then. It's done. That's a wrap. The, the way that these guys are holding each other accountable, the way that they're holding themselves accountable, you can tell this is a much, much different team. So to answer the question, I would rest um, the starters for the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I get it. Yeah, you want them to stay sharp. I think they'll still stay sharp even with the time off. This will allow a lot of guys to get healthy. This will allow a lot of guys to rest, sort of get that last little charge up before, A, hey, it's go time again. And they're going to be watching. I'm sure they'll be practicing and whatnot. Uh, they'll be trying to get better during that time off. And they'll know, like, hey, it's go time. Like, they, 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 know, they know what's at stake. And especially the opportunity that's literally right in front of them. It's right in front of them. They've done everything in their power to get home field advantage. And they got it. They got it. Like, the, the, the road to the Super Bowl, it runs through Baltimore. It runs through MNT Bank Stadium. So they know people got to see them. People got to come through them. And they're going to make it happen. But I, I, I would certainly say to rest the starters. I was just talking to my guy Jason today. And we was talking about how a lot of people were going back and forth about um, the, the active and inactive. Who's going to be inactive for the Steelers game? Well, while, yeah, there's only, what, seven inactives per game, but the thing to pay attention to even more is who's playing and who's not playing. Because the actives, that's only seven pay people. But it could be a lot more that they could be dressed, but they just don't end up playing because they are sitting them. So actives and actives, that's, it's important, but it's not as important as to pay attention to who's playing and who's not playing. Now, somebody who hasn't been playing all year, is Tyus Bowser and we just we don't know we don't know what the deal is with him and um I think weeks ago uh maybe even for some people months ago they just felt like Tyus Bowser he wasn't gonna play but there was like still some little bit of hope that a lot of us had uh whenever we would get a little update here and there but at the same time it was just like hey if we can get anything out of him it'll be a bonus and then when Harbaugh said that exact same thing Said, oh, okay. But then Harbaugh, he provided another kind of sort of update on Tyus Bowser in a recent presser. He said, um, well, he said Harbaugh said he didn't have any updates on whether Tyus Bowser has run out of time for a return. And Harbaugh said that he's not been heavily involved in the rehab and that DaCosta and Tyus Bowser and the Ravens training staff are more in the know. And he said, I don't think I can add anything that would be helpful. Now, um, that's a little weird, especially Harbaugh being the head coach. Uh, that the fact that the, the GM, the player himself, and the training staff, they would know more than you, uh, it, it just feels like there's like some disconnect. There's still a disconnect. Now, I remember a couple of weeks ago when Harbaugh provided the most detailed update that he has provided about Tyus Bowser all, all season long, where he talked about Tyus Bowser's knee. He said his knee was kind of funky. His knee was kind of acting up. He said that everything depends on how Tyus Bowser's knee responds. Um, but we didn't really get much besides that so yeah with Tyus Bowser I'm, I'm gonna just assume that it, it, it's a wrap for him that he's done at this like this year's yeah and, and I mean w even if he did come back with him not having played this whole year what is he really gonna bring to the Baltimore Ravens like what what would be his place with the Baltimore Ravens if he came back not like is he even in football shape? I know we, we've heard a couple times throughout this year, oh, yeah, Tyus Bowser, he's working on the opposite field. He's, he's running on the opposite field. He's working out and whatnot. But he obviously just he hasn't played. 
So I, I can't like it's playoff time. So I can't expect him to play. And even if he did come back, I, I couldn't expect him to be a contributor. So I guess the whole Tyus Bowser will revisit him, whatever's going to go down with him or not in the offseason. And, and, and that'll be that. Now, um, this team is obviously special. The Baltimore Ravens are obviously special. And um, it is different when the Baltimore Ravens, they, they, they really show you how great and special of a franchise they are personally. Because I'm sure a lot of you know, um, there was a Ravens fan that was going through some stuff um, last week. And they shared some of the stuff that they were going through last week. We're not going to get into the details of it. But um, it was some really, really tough stuff. Uh, and the Baltimore Ravens, they got word of it. Ray Lewis reached out to that fan personally. Pat Ricard reached out to that fan. Lamar Jackson reached out to that fan. The Ravens organization, they reached out to that fan. And it, it was just so many people just showed so much support to that fan uh, in probably the biggest time of need in his life and for so many people reaching out to that fan they allowed that fan to make a, a, a life-changing decision for the better um and I just that really hit me big time I really really uh appreciated that because like there have been times when like, we obviously love the, the football team we, we love all just talking about everything that goes on with the Baltimore Ravens with all the the decisions they make on the football field and in the offseason with the signings the contract decisions the coaching staff all that stuff the personnel we love talking about all of that but it's, it's different when you see stuff like this and, and when we saw this last week uh, it just made you appreciate them uh, that much more and that was very 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 special so to that fan he knows who he is Hey, we all love you. We appreciate you. And we glad that you're doing really, really good. Keep it up. Always feel free to reach out. You got plenty of people who are more than ready and able and willing to listen to you. So we appreciate you big time. So special, special shout out to you and special, special shout out to the Ravens and so many different players uh, who stepped in and stepped up uh, to really help this fan out uh, in a major way.